Okay, we discussed the concepts and theories in last two videos. So we are going to implement the Node.js server in this video onwards. First of all, uh, let's see what is going to be implemented. Uh, in here, you can see there is Node.js server or the Node backend and uh, simple React application. Uh, this is just a simple React application. I'm not going to implement many components in it because uh, my main intention is to give you the idea about JWT and how to handle this JWT in front-end application so let's see uh, how the things going uh, there is a login form uh, we should have to uh, fill the username and password and then uh, we we are going to send uh, it as a, a post request uh, send credential to authenticate and get the, get back a JWT so it will go to the Node.js server and there is a JWT uh, sign function it use credentials and get user data from a database in here we don't use a database uh, we use only a mock data and make JWT using payload header secret then it send back to the our react application so our react application will get it and save it in the local storage and there is an input area uh, for enter blog post it only appears when the user authenticated and we fill this uh, input area and send it to the server via http post request with jwt and then our server get this request with the jwt and verify it and then save those data in a database okay let's go and get our hands dirty uh, I'm going to get uh, command prompt and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to uh, then oh sorry Uh, um, this npm init dash y will initialize our node project with package.json file. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code editor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now you can see there is a package.json file uh, then I am going to uh, create a new file called index.js I am going to implement the server in this file then we have to install some uh, packages using npm so I am going to open a new terminal here right so I am going to install first of all express then body parser and json web token and finally course i should have to give the internet connection Okay, let's try again. Uh, right, all the packages are installed. Now I'm going to implement the server in this uh, index.js file. Uh, so we going to get the express first. Require. Express uh, not only express uh, uh, I want to get the JWT also here likewise I got the JSON web token and then uh, I'm going to get the course also 
uh, we are going to talk about this course uh, later mm, then uh, const app equal express right uh, now uh, app to listen so listen app to listen uh, we give a port number thousand eight thousand console clock so the started on for eight thousand and then then we are going to implement a simple uh, first route here. It's a get route. I'm not get. Mm, I'll say that um, dash API. Sorry, dash API. Um, request request response. I'll send a JSON response here. Uh -oh. With the message. Hello there. This is first route. Okay, I'm going to save this, save this, uh, save all this file, uh, and I'm going to run the server. For that, I'm going to type node index. Oh, there is an error. Okay, I'm going to change the port number here. Uh, I'm going to use. 1880 8080 uh, okay server started on port 8080 uh, uh, let's give it a try and uh, for this route I'm going to open my browser and go localhost uh, not 3000 localhost 80 80 and slash api uh, yes so here here is the message so our service uh, working fine let's try to implement the login routes 